right, guys, how's it going? Uh, the new big uh, conversational piece for the Miami Dolphins uh, is the obviously the Tua contract that is lurking and Hill wanting more money, especially after Waddle and Justin Jefferson got their big money. Um, now, I... Uh, I just moved to a new place, uh, a neighbor, uh, the husband was away on vacation, so my wife and I decided to go help her out because she was sick. I ended up picking it up. I ended up getting sick for two days, knocked out. Uh, I'm saying that because sometimes you do the right thing, and uh, there's a price for it. It's the right thing. You got to do it, uh, but there is a price. And with the Hill situation, there's going to be a price, and it's the right thing to do it as far as his production. And it's the right thing for the Mike McDaniel offense. But I want to get involved in the price because there's going to have to be an adjustment. And it gets a little sticky when you look at his contract. So that's what I'm going to be covered today. That's what I'm going to cover today. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to kind of go through sort of quick because I'm, I'm still on the ropes with this sick thing. Um, but take a look at here. Omar Carroll does a good job kind of showing you what the real money these guys make. And that's the guaranteed. Uh, I'll show you even over the cap admits this. And you can see, uh, you know, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but Justin Jefferson, 28 million, Devontae Adams, 28.2 uh, with the deal and final two years won't be honored. So it's 22.5, Cooper Cup, 24.4. And we'll see every penny, Tariq Hill, 24, a year till 25. So he's gonna look to get some more money. Uh, and you can see down at the bottom over there, uh, uh, Waddle's 20.921. And he's probably going to want to get into that Justin Jefferson, maybe slightly below to $26 million. Um, But this is going to uh, be doable. You look at the last year uh, and you look at some of the things he's saying, but there is going to be a quandary attached to that. But guys, I was going over the numbers, and you look at Hill. He, I think, is the third-ranked uh, receiver against man coverage. Uh, oddly, uh, Hill uh, Waddle was like 29th. And this uh, uh, movement uh, situation that we got where, you know, we get guys on the move, and we kind of use that to get those pocket posts and create our matchups, that's based on putting fear in teams, forcing them at times to play man and beating the hell out of them when we play man. And uh, our vision is two stud receivers creating unbelievable leverage, uh, opens up the edge run game. Everything's predicated off these two stud receivers. And, uh, you know, Hill is saying, uh, you can see right here, you can see right here in his press conference, he, uh, he said, uh, being greedy ain't going to help the team. He hopes to retire. But at the end, they didn't put this. He said, whatever is going to be, whatever is going to be type thing. So whatever it is, whatever it is. So while he is saying he wants to be a Dolphin long term, uh, he's not going to try to break the bank and be Justin Jefferson or higher. Um, he is very serious about getting his pay raise. You can see in this, uh, Josh Moyer, Drew Rosenhaus is on there. I have a fluid line of communication with Chris Greer and Brandon Shaw. The Dolphins know how we feel. They feel they should be getting a raise. Um, you could see Pat McAfee. The Dolphins are going to figure out, are going to figure a way out to adjust Tyree Kill's deal. Dolphins are going to, they're going to have to. Okay, they the Dolphins know that uh, that's coming, and they know they're gonna have to have to take care of it. Gonna and have to. There is going to be a full upward adjustment in Tyreek Hill's contract, and uh, I did the numbers. I forgot what it was, but it's like fifty something million the next year, and we could get out of the Tyreek Hill contract in two thousand twenty six. Uh, with 45 million saved and 11 off the books. Um, but he's, his cap number is 34 million uh, next year. And so in order for them to give him extra money, they're probably going to have to pull him into the 2026 season. And they're going to have to raise his number and make it less likely they're going to get rid of him that season. 
Uh, they could do minor adjustments, maybe, and still get the escape clause. But I think Tyreek Hill was saying, I want to be Dolphins long term because I'm getting into that age point where my career is coming to an end. So I want to be locked into a team. And if the Dolphins lock him in to uh, 32 years old in 2026, you know, they're going to have a solid amount of money locked into receiver group at that point. Uh, I think in 2026, yeah, it'll be about 21 for Waddle, cap number, about 50-something million. And then if you add in Tua, which will probably be around 50, that's $100 million for three pet players in the pass game. And you got a 32-year-old guy, and no matter how much of a stud athlete you are, you saw last year he was nicked up. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he is this year. But you're tying a lot of money into a guy, into a style, and it's not going to let you really get out. If you look at the Dolphins, um, their cap situation is not hard to trot. Uh, you know, next year we're at minus 15 million with 50 players. You think you're going to get 20 million or so with a cap rise, 26. We got 55 million, but only 33 players. That's without Tua, and that's really, uh, I mean, you could m get some free money because you drop Hill's value, but how long are you going to extend him? Are you going to bring him to the f next year after that? I, the money is tight over the next year, and then you got to add in Holland, the rest of the players are going to be looking for, uh, you know, their money, and players that are, are you know, leaving, some of that is going to be dead money. It's hard to officially say, but with 33 players, no Tua, and $55 million, that's not a great spot. It's 2027 where you get two, uh, you get 14 players on a roster and $243 million where you're free and you can make things happen. But it's going to be tight for the next couple of years. And what do the Dolphins do? The Dolphins are in this situation where they've created this style and Tyreek Hill is the driver of the style. This is why Waddle got what he got. Uh, he sh does struggle, not struggle, but he's far less effective than Hill in man-to-man. -man, and you're not going to get anybody to create that kind of leverage in man-to-man. -man, so you're going to have to pay him. Uh, I don't know what he's going to ask for. Uh, I'm very surprised what's going on with the two thing. It's dragging out a little bit longer. It looks from what he's saying, he's not going to take a hometown discount. Money is getting tight. It was tight. This is why we had to say goodbye to Hunt and to Wilkins and to Van Ginkle. And it's going to be tight for the next two or three years. And the free, the, the out on Hill, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, is this a bad thing? No. If this offense drives the way McDaniel and Greer see it, if this pass-centric offense is and speed offense does what's supposed to, then it's no big deal. Then it's all on point if he stays healthy. But the thing is, the more money you invest in this receiving group, the more money you invest in just the passing aspects, that's less money you can invest all the areas. And if you know me, the offensive line, uh, the tight end position, and the DI spot, uh, you can fill it out with players, you know, in the draft, uh, and we got a pretty good success rate on the DI spot. But the OL, it's going to be hard to find free agent OLs. Uh, does this mean that if we tie our money into Hill, that we're going to have to keep running this like bottom barrel uh, uh, expenditures on the offensive line? If if Greer and McDaniel are, are brilliant, then it's no big deal. But if it, if this is not the proper way, it's going to create problems. So Dolphins are in a position where they have nothing else to do but pay the guy. There's no way they can get around it. Uh, I don't think it's going to ever come down to him making a stink. I think he probably would make a minor stink. I don't think he would go totally bonkers uh, because he's going to want, it looks like he wants to play. He said he'd want to retire early, but I don't think that's the case. He's got 50 kids all over the place and I'm sure that's expensive. So that's where we're at guys. Uh, uh, I don't know. It'll be very, very interesting to see how this cap stuff works out. Uh, this Tua thing is is getting a little bit more interesting. I don't think it's a big deal yet. I don't think it's a big deal yet. Uh, they just got the money for Howard and trying to work things out. 
But clearly, I think this this Hill and uh, uh, Tua thing and the Holland thing, all three coming together, is making uh, the butt pucker a little bit of the money guys on the Dolphins. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, be well. Go Fins. Curtis out. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebread.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.